Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another one. So, uh, I'm kind of piecing this all together here a little bit. But it is the third day that I've had traps out. I only have two traps out currently. Yesterday I caught, you guys will see that here in a little bit. Um, but yeah, I, with the holiday and stuff, this is right over Thanksgiving weekend that all this happened. It's been kind of hard to get everything to flow together. So, I'm kind of trying to fill in all the blanks for you guys here. So we're going up to this first spot. Here at the edge. I don't see anything up here, so it's probably nothing there. What do we got? What's going on there? Let's go see what happened there. So this particular, oh, you jerk. What in the world? It was a deep dirt hole set right here. Uh, obviously, I got busted. Looks like it was probably a coyote. Maybe. Uh, while I get this reset, let's jump to some footage from the other day. I am on my way to check the first two traps of the season. Uh, I put two out yesterday. I didn't film the set, but uh, I got two of them out. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drive out here and we're gonna check a couple of traps. They're both dirt holes right on the edges. They kind of, I'll show you why I set where I set here in a little bit. So let me go bombing through this uh, field real quick and see if we got anything dancing. And I don't see any movement, so I'm kind of doubtful. I should probably keep my gunshots to a minimum if, uh, if I'm over here. Turns out, well there's a cemetery like half a mile away. And it uh, looks like they're having a funeral there. So I should, oh, actually that's my great uncle's funeral. Anyway, let's go check another trap. Okay, so this is a pivot here. And so there is a hard field line. You can see all the way around. This is planted wheat, that's cut sunflowers. And so I'm afraid, like I have a trap way down here where I normally set down at the end of the tree row. I know they'll travel this line here, but I didn't know if any of them would follow, you know, the edge there. So I set over here and I got dug up. Bulls all dug out, jaws exposed. They got me. Awesome. I don't see anything dancing down there, but he could just be laying down. Who knows? Uh, let me reset this and we'll go check down there. Well, the wheat looks pretty tender and so I don't want to drive on it. So I'm going to go ahead and walk out here and see if we have anything. Wow. This uh, this badger hole looks real fresh. Unfortunately, can you tell where the property line is? That's not so much on mine. I gotta stay on this side. You know, legalities. Look, I don't know if that right there is a spot where he stepped. Doesn't look like I had any visitors. Oh well. That just means uh, this video is getting into another day. Okay, now that you guys have kind of seen what it was about, obviously this got tainted somehow. So what I did is I moved about eight feet down, real, real natural backing, didn't add anything there. There was an already a little bare spot here. Dropped me another dirt hole. Hopefully that does the trick. Hoping, I mean, it's a good intersection, great intersection, because they've got this strip to run down in between the two properties here. And then there's the field edge here, which you guys probably already saw. But anyway, uh, we should snag something. Should have a catch tomorrow. But you know, there's no way to find out, and that's the wait. So let's go check that other trap. Maybe, uh, maybe the remake did something. I can't tell for sure, but I'm pretty sure there's something there. So uh, before we walk out and look at what we've caught today, there's got to be something. Uh, before we get out there and look, Let's go to, you know, another clip from either yesterday or the day before. So, let's go to that. Okay, guys. It's the next day. Last check for this video. Of course, I'm doing this on lunch. So, I got my... I got an apple today. Some summer sausage. You know, only the best. And there is a big bunch of nothing. I can get some more sets out if I actually don't have anything. Hmm. Somebody was digging here on the edges, and they walked right up to it. 
but didn't commit. Might have a smart coyote out here. Probably the one that dug me up over there. Well, I was trying to go fast here on lunch and I forgot to like show you guys what I was doing. So I got one trap in already, but let me show the other one real quick. Okay, last year, this was a hard edge. This is the property line right here. Uh, but that farmer put a row of milo on that side too, which is not great because the coyotes are definitely gonna travel on that edge. Not gonna work out best for me. Trees, nah. Onyx says half of it's on this property that I'm trapping, but it's always been I can trap to the edge of the field. So I'm not gonna mess with that. Last thing I need to do is cause issues. So what I did is, uh, that's a lot thicker than this is, so I'm hoping that they'll still walk on this side here. So, right here, you know, just a little dirt hole set. Hole's probably about, actually that's a deep one, that's probably about 12 inches deep. Nice little, little spot there for it. Looks pretty natural. The other one I'm gonna drop in right here. Uh, there's some more tall backing. I think I can make them walk right through here. I think it'll work out. Uh, I might stay a little bit over this side. I'm not sure. Okay, so instead of setting there like I was going to, I think I would, it, would, it would look too set up, I think, if I uh, moved a lot of stuff there. Um, you know what? We might do that. I was gonna set right over here, but there's a stick here already. Let's just put a dirt hole right here on that. Why not? All right, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna punch a hole Got a little just, you know, we're your trapper's trowel here. Got one with the handle. We're gonna punch a hole real quick. Yep, it's down about that deep. So I got a good 12 to 14 inches down in there. Set that aside. Now we're gonna make our trap bed. All right, now that that's done, I'm gonna be setting this Bridger number three right here. I have it on, oh, this is I think a 20 inch uh, wolf fang here. Set it up on my driver, at least I think I will. I don't know why, my driver seems to not like these right now. All right, take that. And my poor abuse was very, very pretty custom made hammer that my buddy Cade Funk made me. Anyway, big shout out to him. Hand made that thing. That should be far enough. It's a little sandy, but not super sandy. I always give it a few taps to try and loosen it up a little bit. Get my driver back. Give the anchor a pull. Make sure it gets up in there. All right, always make sure you know your regs, guys. I put my tags, I wrap them around the chain most of the time, so there's my tag. Put a little bit of dirt here in the bottom to bed the trap into. All right. All right, there we go. For pan covers, I use sandwich bags. So what I do, open it up along the seam on both sides. And then in one end, in the middle, go ahead and tear yourself a notch. Like so. I wear gloves. Some people are real, real particular about wearing gloves. Some people don't care. Do whatever boats your float. Just don't get lure on your trap. <laughs> uh, it works best if you ask the trap not to bite you while you do this. We're just gonna assume that we have an understanding. This wind is making this difficult. So, the reason I do that is now the pan's covered and dirt can't get up underneath the pan which keeps it from falling. So that's why it's important to make sure you have a pan cover. All right, when you set a trap, make sure you always have the dog um, right here. 
facing toward uh, the hole or wherever your lure is because you don't want the animal to step on that because then it won't release until the animal gets his foot out of the way. So, a little important thing there. For me, I set this far back from the hole. It's about six inches or so from the lip of my hole to the center of my pan. So that's how, that's sort of my rule of thumb more or less. Everyone's got different size hands. That's just what works for me. And I try and get this sucker bedded down in there. I'm gonna do a little bit more digging for these tabs here. And you wanna bed your trap really, really, really well. You do not want that thing to move because if he steps on the jaw and this pops up, he's gonna know something's up. That's a bad deal. Now you know, normally you'd wanna use uh, dry dirt. The high for the next few days is all like in the 70s. So I'm not too worried about these freezing in. Right. Sift the rest of the dirt over the top. Doesn't take all of it necessarily. I used to have a piece of number nine wire. Now I have a stick. Smooth this over. I like to tap it down a little bit. I've had lots of sand blow in my face from doing this, but I don't want it to be too soft because that's just kind of weird to me. I don't know why. And there you go. Make sure nothing's showing. Looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and just eat the rest of the dirt over there. Uh, throw my lure down the hole and get out of here. I'm using a Catman Do. It's currently one of my favorite lures to use right now. Um, I like to get myself a good daub of it there. Down the hole. Let's leave. So I need to go back to work. <laughs> All right, day two of checking traps. It's one o'clock and uh, I have a Thanksgiving lunch that I'm supposed to be at. So I'm trying to get this done real fast. So. Uh, Typically that's a good recipe to catch something, you know, when you need to be somewhere else. But uh, we'll find out here very shortly. You know, that's a big zero there. On to the next one. It's hard to tell, but it looks like I have something. But since it's not dancing, I'm guessing, it's definitely not a coyote. Probably a possum or a raccoon, I don't know. Let's go look and see what we got. Well, the good news is it's not a skunk. It's kind of hard to see it. It looks, it looks like a raccoon. It has a big pile of fur sitting there. That's basically what I can see. Wait, it's, I think we have a badger, ouch. Hey dudes are not made for this. Now we got a badger. All right, he made a mess. Well, that kind of makes sense. I don't know if you guys remember or not, but there's that mound there that we had, you know, looked at fresh badger. And what do you know? Nailed him. All right. You made a mess, dude. Oh my goodness. You didn't look super thrilled to be there. Good catch though. Good full foot. Uh, yeah. What do you got to say? You've been tearing up fields, dude. We can't have that. All right. Let me uh, take care of a few things here, and we'll get a better look at him in here in a little bit. Hmm. Doesn't look super awesome, though. Okay, guys. Uh, I went to go skin this badger, and remember, I never showed him to you guys after I got him out of the trap. Now, the reason was is not all dispatch is pretty so i'll just leave it at that but i got them all washed up and started skinning them like oh i never showed them to you guys so let me show them to you real quick now as you can see he's still a little bit damp but uh you know big boy badger probably the biggest one that i've ever caught another thing though look at these digging claws man i mean those suckers they're well over an inch long, or at least an inch, I should say. That one there, whoo, looks like a bird of prey. Anyway, these guys can move some dirt in a hurry. 
I did notice he does have either a rub or it's I'm not sure what all happened right here, but he's missing some fur there, but it's not super noticeable. I don't know. Oh man, man, badger stink. Anyway, there he is. Thought I'd show him to you. Um, now I know there wasn't a whole lot of uh, you know super interesting stuff, but I thought you know I'd kind of ease into it. This is the first thing that I've caught this year. I've started off with a raccoon, skunk, possum. Um, I don't remember if I've started off with a coyote or not. I don't know. This is the this is by far the most memorable first catch of the year for me, though. So, uh, I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, you guys know the drill. You gotta hit that thumbs up button for me. Subscribe if you haven't. And uh, whether you do or don't, hopefully we'll see you on the next one.